Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to the Harlem Children's Zone Lottery. <laughs> we here at the Harlem Children's Zone want the best for your child by giving them to be the opportunities to be well educated, maintaining their health and preparing them for their futures. These opportunities could support them in what they do and could send them to prestigious universities such as NYU, Columbia, USC, and Stanford University. The reason we do a raffle is because we want this to be a fair choice and we don't want to pick between many applicants. So without further ado, may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> Two twenty seven. Four forty eight. Two five nine seven six. Yeah, go. You know why I want you to get into the school? Yeah, I guess so. What's on your mind, baby? You seem a little down in the dumps. I'm just scared. Scared what? I, I, I... Spit it out, why don't you? I, I, I'm just afraid that my number isn't going to be called. I really want to get a good education so I can get a college degree and make my family happy. Don't worry, honey. You are going to get into the school, get a good education, and get into the college you love. Okay. Are you excited about the new house I got for everyone? Oh, oh, yeah, um, 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 where's my, yes I am. I'm going to get a big old room all by myself, and I won't have to see that godforsaken... Travis, don't say the Lord's name in vain. Yeah, sorry, that gosh forsaken rat hole again. That's right, baby, that's right. I can't believe it. Me neither. She used all the money for herself to go out and buy a house. I mean, even though a house is a little bit decimated, it's still livable. That's right. Even though she was probably thinking of everyone, she was thinking about herself most of all. It is even in a white neighborhood. What the heck was she thinking? She did the worst thing possible. Mm -hmm. Man, $10,000. All gone in a split second. With that money, I could have done many things. Guitar lessons, writing lessons, maybe even an education. Girl, you are so spoiled. With that type of money, I could have went and bought a fine little liquor store, and we could have made enough moolah to support the family, and then later on bought a house. But most of all, the guitar and writing lessons. At least mine supports the family. Okay, go. So, how's George? He's so uneducated. He doesn't respect his own heritage at all. Even though he is rich, I don't think he's a guy for me. But us, a guy. What about him? He is the exact opposite of George. He loves when girls are intellectual and have a personality. He is deep into the roots of his heritage. He is the most wonderful person ever. So, how's Ruth and the baby situation? Oh, don't it? <laughs> oh, don't even get. Oh gosh, please have his number called. He needs this more than anyone. He's a bright and happy kid that if his number doesn't get called, he will be just be arrested. I don't know what to do if he doesn't get called. Well, just calm down. You're freaking out way too much. There's nothing you can do to make this number called. All you gotta do is wait. Okay, I will, but I'm just so... Don't finish that sentence. All you have to do is wait and pray to God. Okay, what should I do? About what? The baby. Should I keep it and raise it in the na white neighborhood? where it is in danger every day, or kill a soul and have an abortion? I'm just so getting very confused. <laughs> Wait, should we do that? The last five numbers are going to be called right now. 410. 217. 355. 407 and 247. <laughs> Okay, let's end the wrap-up. Hallelujah! Well, I knew you would be there for us! We don't have enough room, but there's always next year. Yeah. Goodbye.
<laughs> Thank you. It means a lot. We are right. just so blessed. Right. So much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We really love hey. this for Travis. <laughs> Yeah.